Warning, Say It is a rated M podcast and is not suitable for all ages. This series contains foul language and sensitive topics. Viewer discretion is advised. I was turning a new leaf. I needed to forget about Ren and try to heal from this. I saw Peyton heading to his locker, so I decided to give him a chance. Maybe Ren is wrong about him. Hey, Peyton. Maxine, hi, how are you? I'm good, uh, how's your eye doing? It's getting better. I still can't believe Ren fought me. I'm so sorry about that. Why are you sorry? You weren't the one throwing your fist into my face. <laughs> Knowing me, I'd break my hand or finger doing that. <laughs> Just make sure to keep your thumb outside and not inside your palm. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Why is he everywhere? The look on Ren's face was just pure disgust. <laughs> What's your problem, man? Hey, I'm talking to you! Ren had turned around to face Peyton. I was so scared another fight was going to break out. Oh, I'm sorry. W were you talking to me? Because I don't speak stupid. Come on, Peyton, let's just go. We don't need to listen to this. Yeah, we don't need to be surrounded by people like him. People like me? You barely even know me. Well, I do know that you're jealous right now. <laughs> jealous? Of what? Your toxic, quote-unquote, relationship with Max? What do you mean? Can we just go? I'm sick of this. You do know that you're both using each other, right? You both just have different reasons. And what are those reasons? Peyton, please. You're just a rebound. Oh, am I now? Funny how I remember you ignoring her for years on end. Peyton, come on. I pulled Peyton away. I knew where that conversation was heading. I wasn't going to be the reason for another fight to break out. I looked back as we were walking, and my eyes locked with friends. And I could feel his disappointment in me. From just those green eyes. Okay, now last question. Which of the following is a pronoun? Uh, number four? Are you cheating? What? No! I would never cheat! Hmm. Okay. Alright, I'm done studying. My brain is fried. Yeah, same. Um, so... About last night? What? About it? What I wanted to ask you, before your grandma interrupted, uh, was if you wanted to have lunch with me. Oliver, I am having lunch with you right now, aren't I? I I meant this weekend. Like, on a date? I'm hoping. Sure, I would like that. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh gosh, that was cheesy! <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to class. See ya. B bye uh, What was I thinking? Oh, that was so dumb to say. Oh, someone kill me. Alright kids, today is the big test. Remember that this test is going to be 20% of your grade, so please take your time and read carefully. 
Now, does anyone have questions before we begin? I do. Yes, Miss Grinmore. How long is this going to take? I need to get to the mall ASAP. My daddy got me a new credit card, and I'm dying to get this new purse that just came out, and it's limited- Miss Grinmore, you are not ditching school again. Don't make me call your parents again. Do whatever. I'm set for life. I don't even need to be here. Why do I even put up with this? Lord, don't test me. <sighs> All right, everyone. Your timer starts now. No talking and no cheating. So, how'd you guys do? 1,000% failed. I can just feel it. It was way harder than I initially thought. Don't be so harsh on yourself. I'm sure you did just fine. Oh? What's this vibe I'm getting? Y'all are cute together. Uh, what? Well, duh. I'm always cute. <laughs> You're so full of yourself. Hi. Hey. Peyton and I were able to have a nice conversation yesterday after Ren and him fought. It was kind of nice to make new friends. I was struggling big time in history. Mr. Finch can be such a hard ass sometimes. And for apparent reason too. He threw a big fit at me because I forgot to write my name on my paper. Wow. Really? Yeah. He made a whole scene. I felt so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know he can be a little... iffy. A little? Okay, more like a lot, but I learned a bunch in his class. Yeah, that's true. Peyton saw Ren at his locker and they had locked eyes. Peyton knew Ren could hear our conversation. Hey, can I walk you home? Uh, sure. Peyton carried my backpack for me, and he walked me home. It felt really weird. I had never walked home with a boy before. Besides, well, Ren. He walked me to my porch, and man was I hoping my dad wasn't watching me. Thanks for walking me home. Yeah, of course. Ren had already been home. And Peyton looked at Ren's house to see Ren studying through the window. Their eyes had met again. And Peyton had this big smirk on his face. Max, would you maybe want to do something this weekend? Sure. Uh... And by that, I mean a date. Oh. Um... I almost said no. I didn't know how to feel about the situation, but I'm a people pleaser, and I did want to get to know him better. That sounds great. R really Yeah, sure. Well, why not? You're so cute. What? Before I could even say anything else, Peyton had grabbed me around the waist and pulled me to kiss him. I didn't know what to think or do. The absolute shock had left me speechless and still. Good night. He left with a big smile on his face, and there I saw him. Ren was looking through the window at me and his brow went from shock to sadness. I didn't know how to feel seeing his expression. I went inside and my heart was beating so fast, I couldn't calm it down. So, who's the stud? D dad What, isn't that what the cool kids call guys like him? Oh my god, stop. D please, while you're ahead. 
So, is he your boyfriend? Uh, no. So, what's with all the kissing, then? You watched? Hey, I just happened to see you through the window. Gotta make sure you got good taste in men, all right? Ugh, Dad, no, just... no. What? Where are you going? Come back, we were bonding. I... I, I think. J Jane? What are you doing here so late? Oh, uh... I'm a part of the debate team, and we just had a late session together. Oh, I see. You should get home. I'm sure the buses are about to stop running. Don't worry, I will. And if need be, I can just call an Uber. Can't believe you kids still use that. It just seems so unsafe. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Like what? Like an old man. <laughs> <laughs> well... You aren't that much older than I am. True, I did graduate early, but still. You aren't old. And sure don't look it. Alright now, Jane. You should head home before. Seven? Yeah, it's 7.30. The bus is stopped at seven. Uber it is. Nope. No, I refuse. I refuse to let a student take an Uber. Come on. Come on what? I will drive you home. I was on my way out anyway. Alright. Fine. So, how long have you been a teacher? I actually just started teaching this year. I just graduated from college not too long ago. Oh, so, you're like, what, 22 or 23? I'm 20 for your information. I was able to graduate really early. I put my all into school. And since I graduated high school early, I've always been kind of the youngest in the class. Ah, so smarty pants. All right, I see. So I'm guessing there's no Mrs. Kingston in your life? That is none of your concern. Come on, I'm just making conversation. If you must know, the answer is no. I don't really have time for it. Not to mention I just got out of a long-term relationship with my high school girlfriend. Oh. I'm so sorry. Don't be. It was for the best. We both just wanted different things, after all. Our eyes met, and I had such the urge to just lean in to kiss him. Would he let me? I slowly leaned into him, and for a second he leaned too. And then suddenly he just pulled away and turned his head. You should go. I need to get home. But... I'll see you tomorrow. You need to get sleep for school. I got out of his car and he drove away. I felt so rejected. I know I'm his student. But I thought that we had a spark. I went inside and I couldn't get my mind off of him. I went to sleep, and I couldn't wait to see him tomorrow. I entered into a dream. I knew it was a dream because my mother was there. She was pushing me on the swing like she used to. I never knew how much I missed it. I also dreamt of her talking about the stars as we were lying in the grass. I loved her thoughts about space and what she believed in. <laughs> like aliens. 
but then my dream became this nightmare I will never forget. She's not breathing! Sage! I will never forget that day. The day they found her in the bay. I woke up and my stomach was so upset, I ended up throwing up. I always get queasy whenever I think of that day. It's the worst nightmare to relive. Thanks for watching the Say It Podcast. More episodes coming soon.